Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I'll be talking about the AutoCAD LT 2021, which is like the new AutoCAD version that came out a week or two ago. So I took my time in making a video about the, the new version of the software uh, just to see just to see how it affect my daily workflow and, and if I felt like something is worth mentioning and that's what I want to do today to share with you at least the features that I've seen uh, most helpful and maybe I missed a few but as I see or come across more f more new features I'll definitely share that with you maybe in another video all right so the first thing they have an updated uh, logo now on the application button. That's pretty cool. Uh, the 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 most important feature that I liked is that the trim and the extent command don't require you to to click double enter or double space to actually uh, select all elements as boundaries. So, for example, I'm gonna just draw something very simple here. So before you had to click trim uh, uh, start the trim command and then click enter twice to select all these lines as boundaries but now by default the trim command uh, recognize all lines as boundaries and then you can just literally trim like this pretty much and the same for the extent command which is uh, shortcut ex gonna start that uh, the same you don't need to anymore uh, double click enter to select all the lines as boundaries or edges for the trimming or extending so that I have seen as very helpful now I don't know about saving time it didn't save me so much time it was just a matter of double clicking a button but it just makes it easier for me when I'm showing uh, new users to AutoCAD just not to explain why do they have to click double enter uh, for each both commands Alright, so that was number one regarding trim and extent. The next cool thing I found is actually the insert menu. I don't remember if AutoCAD 2020 had it. I think it had it, but it was kind of clunky. Uh, I didn't like it last year in the last year version. But in the new version, the insert men there's an insert menu pretty much that act like the properties menu or the layer manager. And I went here to the insert tab and then I came to the insert button right here and then I'm just gonna click on recent the blocks gonna click that and now we have like a floating window that we can use and um, and I'm just gonna dock it right or left I always like to dock the the menus I'm using in the software and then here this is this is whatever I have blocks in the current drawing and now there's a tab called libraries over here and from here pretty much you can you can choose several folders from your computer to act as your to act as your CAD blocks library pretty much and then you can easily access them from here uh, before I did something similar to that by using the tool palettes I'm gonna review and start the tool palette load it outside the monitor and here it is so before I would use the I would use the tool palette over here and now I, and I pretty much created tabs, um, tabs on the tool palette uh, based on a, on, a, on a folder that I have. And that's how I did a library before, like accessible as a button over here rather than using the insert menu. But now it's just the, the insert menu offers like a library tab, And you just need to find the folder where you save uh, different CAD blocks where you pretty much uh, create your library. And... Um, and you load it pretty much you plug it into the the window so that was pretty cool I'm gonna close both of these that was number two regarding the insert menu the next cool thing I saw is the external references compare feature I think it was available last year yes it was available in the in the last year version in the 2020 but again it was like it just got introduced I didn't see it to be much helpful I still don't actually but like not for not in my use case pretty much but uh, what I'm gonna show you here the external reference compare is that if you change I'm gonna show you here I have a I have a simple plot plan already drawn here and uh, let's actually just change the scale 
maybe the annotations will show up better I think that's how they're gonna be sized so okay so I have here this residence linked as an external reference and I'm just gonna go and open that reference and then here I'm just gonna do a couple changes I'm just gonna stretch this area using the stretch command uh, let me just activate polar tracking let's go up here and I'm gonna do six feet for example uh, let's do actually two feet just to to make the roof a little bit more realistic and then here this uh, recreational room it became an ADU unit later on so this I'm just gonna extend it here to six feet and then expand the the hatch that represent the roof um, and then here I'm just gonna click on the save button and then I'm gonna go back to my drawing that hosted the external reference and now the warning on the bottom that an external reference was modified look what it says it says do you want to reload it and then under it you have the option now to compare the changes so I'm gonna you just want to make sure this is checked if I click on it it won't compare when you reload so I'm gonna click the reload button right now and here's what's going on now it pretty much locks and fades everything not related to what changed and you will get two main lines you will get red lines that represent what was originally there and the green represent the new change pretty much so this is the area where where we changed the uh, where I extended the uh, the the main residence like a foot or two feet away and this is for this space right here and I extend it like four feet away and you can see the original was in red uh, a little hard to see but I think you get the idea and you can try it on your end and then the green represent the new change pretty much and it also puts revision clouds around the areas that saw the changes and let's say you're kind of away from the drawing they have like this small uh, this small window over here where you can click on here and it's you can navigate between the different changes let's say you have a you have a, a, a really big commercial space floor plan and you want to see all the small changes that happen on the floor you can just literally navigate one by one and see what changed and review pretty much um, if that's okay or if you want to approve it or how, however your role is in the project but pretty much is for your reference and then here I think if I click on the light bulb it just doesn't show the revision cloud in the green and red comparison so I'm just gonna click that back then if you click OK it will just reload the drawing and that's pretty much it for the uh, for the for the external reference compare so I, I don't use it personally uh, I would assume the user case would be for multiple people working in the same office or work in, work in the same office and they're using cloud storage so that way if somebody somebody at home changed something in the office they would see it and they will notice what got changed for example alright so that's pretty cool for the external reference compared the next one I want to tell you about the next feature that I saw here that got introduced in AutoCAD 2021 is basically it's called uh, drawing history and right now under the view tab right here you can come here and you see there's a there's a history button and it says DWG history so basically the purpose of this I clicked on it it will open this window the purpose of it is that you don't have to make daily daily versions of your file or your project or your drawing uh, rather than doing that uh, uh, a connected a connected as far as I understood like a cloud service provider a cloud storage provider will take care of uh, keeping a history or keeping uh, versions of your file as you go so rather than saving this for example let me see here if I have a folder ready to to show you so I found this uh, folder over here and here we go so what I do usually I just keep a daily log of the files that I'm using maybe other people have different ways of dealing this but I, what I like to do is like to date every file I'm using pretty much just so that way I have this version like today's version this is last month version for example or two months ago's version this one is a little older this is just representing the date here in the name so rather than doing that you would pretty much have one file and and basically using the DWG history you can just go back to earlier version of the same file this this feature is available through Google Drive and um, 
Google Drive, I think OneDrive by Microsoft offers it, and definitely Dropbox has it, uh, and Box, I'm assuming. Um, so they allow you to see the version of the file, but now this feature is like integrated inside the AutoCAD software, and just a matter of saving time. So, so I think it's pretty cool. I'm not planning on using it in the near term just because it's a new feature that just got introduced in the software. I don't want to risk my project files by using this feature, but uh, definitely something looking forward to use and like kind of slowly explore. All right. So, so that was regarding drawing history under the view ribbon, and I'm going to close this window over here. Uh, the next thing that I noticed that also got updated is actually the revision cloud element so revision cloud i'm just going to start the command by typing revision cloud or ref cloud and click enter and then now the the default is that the actually this is not working the way the way it is let me see if i can change the setting to automatic and that, not the style let me see Actually, I know a better way to to show showcase this. I'm just gonna start a new drawing, and let's say I have a a simple simple drawing here. So this is like 20 by 20. 20. I'm thinking this as 20 inches by 20 inches, and then I'm gonna draw something uh, something different. Let's say way bigger here. Let's make another drawing, and this one I'm gonna make it. Uh, 2000 inches too big for the screen to see this has taken longer than I expected to show the revision cloud but it's just something I think worth mentioning okay so this one this uh, this square right here is 2000 by 2000 let's say inches uh, while this one here is uh, 20 by 20 inches and I'm gonna start the revision cloud command and then I'm going to click here and we get a revision cloud kind of relative to the size of this drawing. And I'm going to go to this bigger drawing because this is 2000 by 2000. So it's like 100 times bigger. And then I'm going to do the revision cloud again. And you see the revision cloud size relatively is the same between the two drawings. I'm going to copy this uh, and then put it close to it and see like like this was relative to this and the the cloud over here is relative to to this drawing over here i don't know what it would do right now since now we have a smaller size and a bigger size drawing i'm gonna try the revision cloud yeah it's matching the original the what we had originally in this drawing so this is a little clunky i wouldn't use this feature i wouldn't care about it the way i usually use the revision cloud uh, command is that i assign it a specific arc size so from here i go down through the settings and arc length and usually when i'm on a floor plan i usually do like one foot uh, arc size and then i would draw something like this this is just easy going and then if i am on a layout i would change the revision cloud size to be uh, one eighth and then I would draw the cloud again so that's in my opinion I'd like I don't see a better solution here for a vision cloud but also it's something interesting uh, to see how we can use and uh, and that's literally what I what I have found so far about AutoCAD 20 AutoCAD LT 2021 and as I find more features that are helpful I'll just make uh, another video for you all right and that was it